So this is a new manga that recently just came out a few days ago with only one chapter and this is called Hope You're Happy Lemon. And I saw a few pictures floating around and a few people describing this series saying that it was a body swapping manga. And as soon as I heard that I was like, okay, that instantly caught my attention because I feel like a body swapping manga is definitely an area of manga that really is just underutilized, and if done very, very well, it could be some of the best writing for like a romance or slice of life if it is done properly. However, most of the time when it comes to those type of stories, they only scratch the surface and they legit don't do much with the overall, I guess, theme of body swapping. I have read countless manga that has that theme over the years, and it's really sad that most of them really just succumb to the typical cliche of, oh, we're gonna swap bodies, and you know, we're gonna say, oh, I'm now a girl, or now I'm a guy, they're awkward because, you know, they're in a new body, which makes sense, yes, but it's like, they only go the surface level stuff, they don't really dive into, like, the, the mental aspect of being an entirely new person, and basically how they have the potential to ruin someone's life, and I'll talk about that in a second, but pretty much, you know, when I found out that this was a body-swapping manga, I was like, okay, I'm gonna check this out, let's see if this is good, since there's only one chapter, it's not gonna take much time to actually read, and even though I kind of already expected the overall twist at the end of this chapter, like when, you know, it's revealed that the female character wasn't really uh, telling the truth to the MC about why they broke up, and I kind of guess that was the reason, I still think that it legit is a good first chapter. So far, cliche, but good first chapter. But let's let's just, you know, dive into this and why I'm even wanting to make a video on it. So basically, artwork-wise, it looks really good. I really like the artwork. I like, I like the line work of the characters, the hair, the way it's drawn, especially the eyes. I do like the eyes of the characters, and this color page right here really is just excellent. And... I, I just, I wanted to point this out, like, I really do like this color page, I like the color tones, etc., to the shading, it's just really good, and the eyes are just so good, I love the shading of the eyes. But, um, let's actually get into this, okay? So this is literally the first page. This is how it opens up. And the story literally opens up with our main male character, you know, he's with his girlfriend, and she says, like, I've been cheating on you, and it wasn't just one guy, it was three, sorry about that, and then obviously they break up. And that's literally how, you know, the manga starts. It's like, ouch, that's, um... That's quite the start. That's legit quite the start for a character. Man just got absolutely destroyed by his uh, childhood crush, so to speak. So, obviously, a few years pass. He wakes up. It's a nightmare. And he's like, oh, it was just a nightmare and all that. And, you know, he's basically still thinking of his ex-girlfriend. And, you know, he just he can't fully get over her. Which makes sense. If it's his first girlfriend and it's someone that he spent a lot of time with, the news of, you know, just breaking up is going to hurt. But, especially if your girlfriend apparently cheated on you, not just once but three different times with three different people it's like yeah that's awful that's i i wouldn't even know how to react to that i think anyone naturally would just be traumatized if that actually happened to you in real life so his reaction is pretty realistic it's like okay and once again when you first start this if you have no idea that it's a body swapping manga it kind of comes out of nowhere like oh really we're getting into those type of elements because it seems like the, the overall basis of the story is setting up for a traditional slice of life story that's about a character trying to move on from his past mistakes and try to find love in a new area for instance this new female character here and so for the most part it's the main character just trying to figure out a way to get past his ex-girlfriend and be able to move on with life. That's literally what the entire chapter is. And then all of a sudden as he's, you know, just traveling, he meets Lemon, his ex, and she's acting all cutesy and all that. She's like, oh, you know, I would have dressed up. I would have, you know, spent more time on makeup, etc. And it's like, why are you acting like this when, you know, you told your boyfriend or ex-boyfriend that you cheated on him. It's like, why are you acting like this? And it's just like, in this moment of the story, you're like, ah, oh, so she's this type of person. Maybe she's just, uh, you know, someone that's just continuously trying to get any guy she can get or something. That's what you would assume. But then, as, you know, the chapter continues on, you know, they body swap, they get into each other's bodies, and there's a lot about that I'll talk about in a second. But then, like, you have, like, you know, how she says she was lying. That, you know, she didn't actually cheat on him, and there was a reason why she did it. And... Basically, what this implies is that most likely she was either being bullied, maybe she felt that she uh, wasn't good enough for the main male character, maybe there's a variety of things. But um, regardless of the circumstances, we do know that she basically... Um, 
she broke up with him, and that was a lie that she told him. Now, the question I have to wonder, since this is the first chapter, and usually these manga can really go into a spiral of the same old, same old, I hope that the plot point of her lying to him and why they broke up gets settled relatively quickly. It, all it takes is an actual conversation. Like, all it takes is them to sit down, side by side, at a table, or whatever, and just say, yeah, you know, I was in a difficult spot, you know, life was hard, I wasn't ready for a boyfriend, and I just, I needed to break up and focus on my schoolwork or something. You know, I could be completely fine with that. I think that would be a normal conversation. I understand there's layers, and it's very clear that she is, uh, introverted to a degree. We do get to see that with her character and the way it's expressed in this chapter when she, you know, changes into, you know, her ex-boyfriend, like, Lemon, you know, becomes the main character, but it's like, um, even then, regardless of those circumstances, you know, there is the ability to talk. If she has feelings for him or whatever, she should be able to talk with him and speak her mind, and so hopefully that isn't dragged out for 10, 20, 30 chapters, hell, the entire series. I hope not, because that would be just really lazy. It would be a lazy plot point, especially when there is a lot to work with when it comes to this whole body-swapping narrative. And let's, um, let's get into that. So, the body-swapping narrative, like I said, it kind of came out of nowhere with this chapter. Like, if you didn't know anything going in, you would not assume this is that type of manga. You just assume that this is like a slice-of-life, love-triangle type story. But it turns into a straight-up body swap. And overall, the same standard cliches are used for body swapping to where they try to fit in, mingle with friends, you know, play the perfect part, etc. It doesn't work out completely. They have to save each other. All those different type of things. It's um, a very typical plot, so to speak, with the first chapter with the body swapping. But once again, the reason why I'm giving this series a chance is because there is a lot of potential with these themes. Because let's give a good example here. I don't know if there is a manga out there that does this. There probably is. But I don't think there's ever been a manga focused on the plot point of what if the body swapping between the two characters happens and one of them don't have the best intentions for them. For instance, like, what if, hypothetically, Lemon, okay, yeah, she says she was lying, but what if she's not really a good person and it was just a fake out at the end of the chapter and she tries to ruin the main character's life, like, just straight up ruin his life and she is just outright awful and really tries to tarnish everything that he's going through think about just how interesting of a plot that would be if someone was in your body destroying your reputation not accidentally but purposely and really doing anything they can to make you outright heinous and then when you go back to your body it's just like how do you explain yourself so that could be a really interesting plot if body swapping wanted to take it that direction. There's other elements of just like really dealing with the mental aspect of being a completely different person, a completely different body. You know, there's a lot of areas to explore there besides the typical cliches. I mean, imagine like if they were stuck in their body and like they were, you know, thrown away around the world or something. Like, you know, they're stuck in each other's bodies and they are forced to be somewhere else around the world, separated from countries or whatever. Like, there's a lot of possibilities with the theme. I don't think the series will dive into that aspect, but you get my point. There is a lot of unexplored areas I think that manga has never really dived into, so I hope that this isn't necessarily surface level content and that, you know, this manga does want to dive into it. Maybe I'm putting, you know, too much, um, I guess, hope into the series, but once again, this is a very rare concept. It happens, but we don't get a lot of it, and I just, I hope this is good, and I hope that the offer does a good job with it, and doesn't just use it as a, a standard cliche, so to speak, but um, it looks like things are going to heat up. It'd be very interesting as well if Lemon actually is into, uh, you know, the other female character. I think that would be really interesting as well. Maybe that's why she broke up. Maybe she's not into dudes or something. That would be kind of crazy. Like, oh my goodness, that would be crazy. But uh, I guess I'll leave it at that. I just, I wanted to shout out, hope you're happy, Lemon. I saw this chapter being talked about, and like I said, my interest was peaked when it was body swapping. I was like, okay, I'll... I'll check it out. So, uh, I'll definitely be sitting down and reading the next chapter. Apparently, the next chapter is on the 21st of this month. So, that's not long, honestly. It's like a week away. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then for this uh, next chapter review for I Hope You're Happy Lemon. But, uh, be safe. Stay healthy, everyone. I love you guys. Chibi out.